In this video, I'm gonna be painting my bulkhead and we're gonna do it right now. So if you follow my channel, you'll know that I put this bulkhead in and you've been asking, when am I gonna paint it? Well, winter's coming, so the time is now. And you also might be thinking, Matt, how are you gonna make a video on painting? Isn't that gonna be boring? Maybe, but I'm gonna try and offer some tips along the way. So let's go. First tip is whenever you buy brand new pressure treated and you install it somewhere, you wanna let it dry out for a couple months if you can before staining it or painting it or doing any kind of treatment to it uh, because it's gonna dry up. It's gonna shrink a little bit. And you see with the caulking here, I'm gonna have to redo this caulking um, that, you know, held up for the most part, but you can see there's a crack in it all the way down. It absorbed whatever material is in the pressure treated. You can see it turned green. So I'm gonna have to recock that in and paint it. And that is one of the reasons you wanna let this stuff dry out. This has been drying out for about two months. And if winter wasn't coming, I would let it dry out for another month or two, but winter's coming, so I gotta get it painted. I'm also gonna paint the stuff around it. So my plan is to paint all this, the trim, the bulkhead, this trim, and all this side right here, black. So it'll kind of blend in with the driveway. But I'm also going to, since this is painted already, I'm gonna make that nice, paint that white, and then over there, scrape that, clean it up, and paint that white. And then I'll paint the bulkhead. First thing I want to do is get rid of all these leaves. Okay, now that all the leaves are out of the way, I'm going to prep the concrete. I'm going to paint this before I paint this because I'm basically going to have to walk on the bulkhead in order to paint some of this. Um, so I'm going to prep anything that I can with as far as getting this old paint off. I'm just gonna use a screwdriver and go along and get anything off any of the big chunks. And then I'll go back and use a wire brush to clean all of this, just like that. And do that here and over there. So I prepped all this down here, but over here we have some issues. Uh, I think obviously in the past water was getting in here. I know, that's terrible. Don't worry, this whole porch is gonna get a major revamp at some point, but I just wanna button this up for the winter. So I'm gonna fill this with some quick setting cement, all these areas, and on the bottom here, try and even that out and fill it in before I go prep in the other the other stuff to paint and I'll let that dry and then we can paint it. Always find something. So quick setting cement is exactly what it sounds like. It sets very quickly. So you just add some water and you mix it up. Yes, I am using a plastic putty knife. You might be wondering why. And the reason is because it works. I'm just using what I got. So I got it to about this consistency. I think that's gonna be perfect. Load this in there. On the asphalt already. Yeah, maybe should have used a drop cloth or something. Clean that up with some water when I'm done here. So this stuff is cool because you can put it on here. Once it starts setting up, you can shape it. So after even a couple minutes, you can start to shape it. I think I'm just gonna use my finger on this because it's so small of an area. I typically use a sponge for this. 
like I said, this is a small area, and I feel like a sponge would do more damage than good. Don't be afraid to get dirty. Talk everything back in. Use some paintable caulking. So it is the next day, and this is how this has cured up. Uh, I was doing some research on this type of concrete, and it says you should wait. They recommend seven days before painting with latex and 28 days to paint with oil base. I'm going to be using latex concrete paint here, so I'm going to wait a week. Luckily, I can do that. I have plenty of other projects to jump onto, and with the magic of video, you don't have to wait that long. One week later, let's get this concrete painted. So the wind and the leaves are driving me bonkers again today, um, but I don't have many days left to do this, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm starting up here and working my way down um, using this bare interior, exterior, masonry, stucco, and brick paint. Uh, I've used this on the outside of the house before. It works really good. Um, a little tip for you. I like to leave my roller right in the bucket if I can. And then I can just fish it out like this. Press it to the side. And you're ready to go. And that way you don't have to waste rollers. This is a whizzy roller or a hot dog roller, whatever you want to call it. Just a little tip for you. Well, let's paint this up. Lay it on nice and thick. Okay, first coat done, and I'll go back and do a second coat. I was, I did the roller, and then I went around with the brush to try and get some of these pinholes. This is a really rough surface, uh, and after the second coat, it'll be covered pretty well. I actually went over the caulking a little bit here. I like doing that with where two paints meet uh, because it just gives double coverage with the caulking, less chance of it cracking. And I didn't use any tape or anything along the driveway. And I got a little paint here, but that's okay. I am going to fill this in with something at the end of this whole project. I think I have just enough paint to get that little section done. And uh, yeah, we let it dry. Let me do a second coat. First coat is dry. Honestly, not a big fan of the white. I kind of wish that was not painted at all and it was just concrete, but it was already painted, so getting the old paint off would be a pain. Plus, we got some damage over here that uh, it's all filled in and stuff, and I guess I gotta paint it, but maybe a gray, maybe the house color, or just a gray closer to the concrete in the future. Or maybe I'm just gonna rip this whole thing down and do it over again, but for now, it's staying white, so I'll do a second coat here and over there. So I got my new gallon here, and I just want to mention Bear Paints. Um, video is not sponsored by Bear Paints, but I use it all the time. And if you swore off Bear Paint like 10 years ago or so, 
I think you should give it another try because this stuff has come a long way. It used to be really, really thin and now it is nice and thick and I think it does a really good job. I use it a lot. There used to be a saying, barely covers, but I don't believe that anymore. This is a Home Depot product and Home Depot is nice and close to my house, so I use it all the time. That's it, just a little plug for Bear. Again, not sponsored. Second coat is done. So I'm gonna consider those two spots completely done. Now my plan for the rest of this is this trim piece right here, and this little piece of drip cap. I'm gonna paint this the house color and I'm gonna paint the rest of this black because I want it to kind of blend in. So that'll blend in with the house. And then this will kind of blend in with the asphalt a little bit anyways. Um, but here's the thing. You have metal, pressure treated wood, PVC or vinyl. I think this is vinyl, metal and concrete a bunch of different materials. So instead of getting paint that's for metal, paint that's for wood, paint that's for concrete, and paint that's for plastic basically, what I'm gonna do is prime everything with this, Zinsser Cover Stain. It's an oil-based primer, and I've used this stuff a bunch. It's interior and exterior, and it works really well. So I'm gonna prime all that stuff I just mentioned, except for the bulkhead itself, because that is pre-primed. And then I'm gonna paint everything with a latex paint, just one gallon of paint. And I could get, you know, a quarter of this it would probably be fine. Same with the, the other paint, but I can use this for other stuff. And you can tint this, it is tintable. If I wanted to do like a gray or something, so it would cover better, but I'm gonna do two coats anyways. And like I said, I'm gonna use this for other stuff, so I didn't wanna tint it. So the very best thing for the bulkhead would probably be like a Rust-Oleum or something, but it's gonna last. I have a special kind of paint actually that I'm gonna be using that I'll show you when we get to it. But guess what? It's starting to rain. <laughs> this thing is fighting me so much. So I guess I'm gonna to have to do that tomorrow because I don't want this stuff running down into the driveway. So, until tomorrow. Primer is dry, but of course the wind brought in all this crap, all the leaves, all the dirt. We'll have to clean that up before I paint it. Ah, the weather is not cooperating with me. But, primer's dry, so I'm gonna paint this piece of trim and this piece of metal. Uh, rain cap, two coats of house paint. So that covered really well, better than I expected. Um, so I'm just gonna do that one coat on that. I mean, it's vinyl anyways. Um, so you can see I went over the caulking on this too, and I'm gonna cut the black into that. That'll give it one, two, three, and another coat of black, four layers of paint over that caulking. Nice seal. So I'm gonna take some, probably some 120 grit sandpaper and like I said, I'm not gonna prime this because it is pre-primed, but I am gonna scuff it up with the sandpaper. And I'm also gonna do the same thing on this because all these little bits of dried up stuff are on here. So I wanna get that stuff off and it'll scuff that up a little bit. And then we can paint all this black. That's what you want. This is going to turn red. Scuffing up the door just helps the paint to stick 
to the door. It basically creates these tiny grooves and that helps the paint to grab onto something. That's why I'm sanding. So this is what I'm using. Bear, porch, and patio floor paint. It's latex, but it's a little more durable. Wood, concrete, porches, patios, and walkways resist cracking and peeling, withstand scuffing and fading, and weather resistant. So that's what I decided to go with. So I think the combination of the oil base primer and that is gonna be a really long lasting finish. I'm gonna start with the concrete because I think it's gonna be a little more difficult because it has a lot of rough edges, uh, dips and everything. Having to have concrete cure and between the wind and the rain and everything, Hopefully this is satisfying and I made the right color choice. Here we go. Ooh, that is black. No going back, no going back now. The good thing about painting this white first is you're definitely gonna be able to see where you missed the spot. I have a roller set up that I'll use on the more smooth surfaces and I just gotta be a little more careful with this stuff. The other paint I could get on the other surfaces because I was gonna paint over it with this black, but this is the final coat, or the final color, I should say. I'm gonna do two coats. Try and go nice and easy, nice and slow. Just be careful. I see a red door and a red painted wall. That looks pretty awesome. You might think it's done, but if you look closely, you can see the red shining through there. So definitely needs two coats in the spots that, you know, I missed. But that's looking awesome. We'll let that dry. Just gonna keep my brush and roller wet with the paint, and then I can do my final coat. Wow, that's got a really nice sheen to it. Really nice finish. Look at that. Went on pretty smooth. Had a couple little whoopsies. A little drip right there by the handle, but this looks great. So the very last thing, and pretty important, for me anyways, I think, is right here, all along the edge here, there's a gap between the asphalt and the concrete. And same here, not as much, but the last thing I'm gonna do is use some flex shot to seal up all along here, all along that edge. 
and over there so no water can get in there. Just like I did here, you can't even tell because it blends in with the asphalt. That's the black flex shot. So I'm going to do that all along the perimeter. So there you go, all set for another couple years or at least, at very least, the winter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned some things along the way. Let me know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe you'll enjoy that video or that video. You can go check them out. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you like content like this, definitely consider it. See you on the next one.